Good morning. Welcome back to another carb cycling video. I am just like just sat down from that almost eight and a half mile run. Let me tell you uh, that little meme that I posted about the running with Morgan Freeman. I posted that before my run. Didn't think that I was going to have a fire run, but I did. Oh my gosh. It was almost like effortless for my runners out there. Have you ever had runs like that? I haven't had many <laughs> that felt effortless, but today it just felt so natural and like I wasn't even working up like breath. I don't know. It was just fire. It is cool today. The humidity is low. As you can see, I'm wearing long sleeves. That doesn't happen often. And it was just beautiful out here today. And I really do think y'all had a great suggestion last week with eating the same thing every time prior to a run, especially if you're doing a race. So I went back to the base culture cinnamon raisin bread and I had the nutso keto nut butter packet like you saw and then strawberries instead of blackberries because that's what I had. And I just just feel like that is an amazing powerhouse combo for me personally prior to a run. Now I am going to not next week because when you're watching this today the girl is on a plane going to Las Vegas to go see my keto bestie in with Jen here on YouTube. Jennifer if you follow her I've done some collabs with her I mention her all the time she does carb cycling as well so definitely go and check out her channel because she's absolutely amazing she just got done with 75 hard and absolutely killed it and I cannot wait to meet up with her in Vegas we're going to have a little girls weekend we are going to be running together so it's going to be so awesome I cannot wait so when you're watching this the girls in Vegas what so not next week because I'm coming home on Sunday but I am gonna try to carb cycle a little bit while in the airport again gosh I swear but the following week I'm gonna do the apple combo and see if I can tell a difference and if I can tell a difference I'm gonna stick with that base culture bread the nutso nut butter and then some type of fruit on the side prior to my runs because I feel like it's giving me the most energy it's helping with my joints I feel like I can just run for ever. Now I could have ran longer today. We did almost eight and a half miles. I wanted to do about nine or 10, but the hubby got uh, called out for work. So I have to um, go and meet him. He's actually waiting on me right now so he can go to work. But if not, if I didn't have a time limit, guys, I could have just been like Forrest Gump and just kept on running because it was absolutely amazing. I feel amazing. I'm just coming off of Shark Week. So I don't have high hopes when I test my ketones later for you guys, because when I have Shark Week, y'all know I've documented here and most women I know do not read in ketosis when the shark is here and that's for me it's like as, as soon as it comes we're under a 0.5 the entire week and as soon as it goes away they raise back up it's so crazy but you are utilizing your ketones for fuel and you definitely need that extra energy and fuel when the shark is here for sure because it is draining your body especially if you're already draining your body with the crazy workouts and stuff that you're already implementing speaking of the shark if you missed last week's video i did mention how carb cycling has cleared up my menstrual cycle issues. So I was having, y'all asked, I was having two periods a month. They were breakthrough bleeding, spotting, and I know my guys TMI, but for my ladies, they want to know. And I was having really bad like menstrual cramps and things like that, which I've never had before. So being carb cycling over six weeks, it took about seven weeks of carb cycling before it regulated my cycle. And now it's coming like clockwork the same week of the month, every month, and it lasting the same amount of time. And no back pain, no cramping, nothing. So carb cycling has helped with that. That's why I researched it and started it to begin with. And then I also wanted to do the muscle gain and helping with the um, lifting and running and stuff. And man, is it helping that for damn sure. So I'm loving carb cycling. That's why I'm doing it. It's not um, for me for weight loss. I know a lot of people have done it if they're in plateau and you do lose weight. As y'all can see from me weighing in this morning to tomorrow, we always usually lose a little bit of weight in between the, the days. And then I I stay steady the entire week. We're gaining muscle, feeling fire in the gym, running throughout the week. So it is a win for me, but I will have weeks one's video always linked in the description box for you guys because I explain all the details about carb cycling in more detail for you if you are new here. I'm drinking my Redmond's Relight here and just getting my electrolytes in. We're going to go in shower and do our compression socks. I did order some new ones, guys. I can't wait to show you because they so stinking cute. It's the little things, right? The little things that uh, make, make us happy. It's kind of crazy when we get older. We're like, grocery shopping, compression socks. What is my life? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm living my best, like, uh, getting old life with liking growing to the grocery store and getting a new pair of compression socks. I mean, what's wrong with that? I am rocking the polka dot compression socks over my Halloween leggings I got from Walmart. I love these things. They were like 
I don't even know, like $4, something stupid, but how cute are they? Rocking them for the first time for the season, and then just a black oversized cozy top from Target. About to go eat some breakfast. I am starved, and I'm just feeling fire. I got both of the boys right under my feet, you know, mom life. What is that language about, son? No. I don't even know. Let's go get some breakfast. We are back to the breakfast egg white combo. Oh yeah, bringing it back. Put 368 grams of egg whites. These are organic Whole Foods ones. Almost this entire container. I know, we trying to get that protein in and get it in hard first thing after doing this workout. So I got that weighed up as you can see and then I have a ton of cinnamon that I doused in it. And we're just going to cook these like we would scrambled eggs and add all the yummy stuff to the top. I've just been feeling the wedding cake and the vanilla vibe here lately PJ's coffee going in and we're using our killing it mug appropriate in our Morocco frother this thing is life always have it linked y'all ask about it all the time I'm telling you you need it in your life the nut pods vanilla this is my OG and I put about four to five tablespoons in there setting one on the frother of course in my coffee guys I'm using the equip unflavored complete collagen hopefully they will have it back in stock November 1st that is the plan this is helping so much with your hair your skin and most importantly your joints when doing all this running all these exercises walking whatever activity you got going on you need collagen to help repair breakfast we've got the egg combo we did a whole serving a little bit over of the base culture gingerbread almond butter i haven't tried the gingerbread i have all of them and love them equally this is definitely paleo guys not something i would consume on your strict keto diet but if you're carving up or if you're paleo are just healthy out there these are great nut butters and love base culture woman-owned company so much got some bananas on there some honey crisp apples some raisins and cinnamon sprinkled on top as well and in the actual egg white y'all saw then i've got my yogurt bowl over here so another company that's woman owned that i love is kalina so good dairy free for my dairy free peeps out there this is a sour cherry almond love this one look at the ingredients is why i love them so much it is so simple so basic again this is paleo more than your keto they do sell a unflavored plain one that is definitely definitely keto friendly so check it out and you can add anything to it I've got raisins, honey crisp apple, banana, and the entire serving of that yogurt, and then a little bit of hemp hearts over there, along with my coffee. 72 net carbs, 995 calories. Before we dive into breakfast, fighting that shark hard, y'all, coming in at a .6. I will take it though, because like I said, it's been about a 0 .3, 0 .4 the entire week when the shark comes. I'm just getting over the end of it. And after our long run and our little keto fuel up this morning, 0 .6. So stinking good. If you are keto, get that Kalina unflavored one and add like your nut butters and your granola to it. It is fire. I'm telling you, so good if you're looking for something dairy free, but that cherry one, Oh, all her flavored ones are spot on and this base culture gingerbread wow like i mentioned last week when i did the maple almond one this is a super thick like crunchy thick nut butter so if you're not about that life and you like more thin and creamy don't get these but if you like that man they are so so good she's got some more that are definitely more keto friendly um in the almond butter line besides the gingerbread and the almond butter that i've showcased before like there's an espresso one yes a chocolate espresso one it's more keto friendly than those that was amazing it's almost 11 o'clock Let's get some stuff done around here with all this like natural sugar in my body. So after that beast mode breakfast, I have my half gallon of water with my hydro jug. This is what I drink twice a day to make sure I'm getting my gallon a day in. So when you are watching this, guys, we are well into our gallon a day challenge that I've put on. So hopefully you're doing well with that. But if you want to do 75 hard or if you just want to up your water game, I have a discount code for hydro jug link down below. I absolutely love it so awesome to keep me on track and then supplements i only am showing this because you're new and for my ogs because i get the question a lot so here's a slew of supplements that i'm taking first thing in the morning that you're not seeing all here the equip ones but these are the ones that i feel like you definitely need and need to purchase now versus everything you know what i mean so like i want to make sure that y'all are getting the best of the best and really recommend what your body needs right now so turmeric i take twice a day and yes i've had people come with come for me for these brands y'all they're are definitely like cleaner ones out there but you know we gotta do what we gotta do sometimes and until equip comes out with these this is what i'm taking because it's just convenient to get right here right now 
turmeric twice a day. That's going to help with inflammation in the body. So amazing since I incorporated turmeric and that's a 500 milligram capsule that I'm taking twice a day. Magnesium I take once a day. That's also 500 milligrams. This is going to help with digestion and making sure you're going to the bathroom. Just being honest out there. I have a lot of people that have problems with that. And once they incorporate this and the turmeric combo, they are good to go. Grass-fed beef liver, this is something you take six times a day. This definitely helps with nutrients that you're not necessarily getting on your lifestyle, and it is going to help with the protein source as well. And then, of course, joint support is my all-time favorite from Equip because it is, supports your joints and healthy cellular function, as it says there. It just repairs everything, and you take this twice a day. So out of everything, guys, you definitely need to get this from like your local Walmart, but this is what you definitely need to stock up on with Equip, and I always have a discount code link down below. Lunch today, we're keeping it simple. I've got a whole package of Gulf Shrimp from Imperfect Foods. Yes, the whole package for that protein life. And we've doused it with some real salt organic, organic lemon pepper. Y'all know I saved that for the seafood. And then for the side, I just basically uh, microwaved some broccoli florets by great value. We're gonna top the shrimp on this and use some of that cashew dressing from Trader Joe's, that's so good. So here's my shrimp and broccoli bowl. And on top, I've got two tablespoons of the Trader Joe's spicy cashew butter dressing. It is lime juice, ginger, cilantro, red chili peppers. This stuff is so good. And it definitely is keto friendly, guys. So if you wanna incorporate this on your daily keto journey, there are the nutrition facts and there are the ingredients. If you wanna screenshot it, super clean. It is also dairy free for my dairy free peeps out there. But this is something that when I go to Trader Joe's, I will always pick up because it is really good. It does have a little kick to it. You can definitely taste the lime juice. Highly recommend for seafood dishes or your Taco Tuesday. Now that spicy cashew dressing is so fire. You need that in your life. It is so good. If I didn't mention earlier, that was 251 calories and nine net carbs. And I am drinking a Dr. Zevia for that afternoon pick me up. It is 5.30, we've been at Sam's Club, we've been doing all the things around here and we are making Hawaiian barbecue chicken wraps, chicken tacos. This is a Pinterest recipe. I will have a link down below for you guys. But basically all you do is dice up some chicken breasts, saute it with some salt, pepper. I also added some Tony Sachery's. Y'all know that's our Creole seasoning of choice down here. And then I had just maybe not even a fourth of a cup of this Hawaiian barbecue sauce left that I poured in. And then I opened up the mango jalapeno barbecue sauce by Primal Kitchen. We haven't tried this one before. These are on the higher carb side. So I save these barbecue sauces for our carb up days, but their regular barbecue sauces are definitely keto friendly. The cleanest of the clean and dairy free microwave going off of my kali rice from Whole Foods, y'all know I love so much. I diced up some red onion and then we've also got a fresh pineapple. I went ahead and cored up and we're not gonna use that whole thing, but Waylon loves pineapple, so we will definitely save that for him. I need to chop up some fresh cilantro and get all this stuff plated up. Don't forget your hack with your herbs that you can do with cilantro. I've got parsley in there as well. So you take a little bit of water, put it at the bottom of a mason jar and put the original produce bag on top. I've also used a Ziploc has worked when I didn't have this from Imperfect Foods. Rubber band it up and it is good to go for weeks. Now, this is looking kind of sad on me now, but it's been in there forever. So I'm gonna use it up today and then we'll get a new batch for like 78 cents and it'll last another three weeks instead of spending a dollar every week. I know that sounds trivial guys, but it adds up. Got my Whole Foods collie rice there and I put a little bit of this cashew queso spicy blanco by Siete. Even though I'm eating cheese guys, this stuff is still fire. It's dairy free, keto friendly. Love this stuff. We'll continue to purchase it even though I am eating dairy because it just tastes so damn good, especially on Taco Tuesday. And I also, I heated up by the way and I spread some on my tortillas. I am using the Siete by the way, almond flour ones. I couldn't find the Whole Food ones. They're always out of stock because they're so damn good and they are like $3 cheaper than these so definitely pick up those at Whole Foods versus these but this brand y'all know I absolutely love look at the ingredients there are the macros I've asked if these are keto friendly for two tortillas guys it is 16 net carbs so it's eight net carbs a tortilla which is on the high side but when you think about it for the ingredients if you can fit it in your macros like if you're carnivoring it up the rest of the day do this versus like the mission and all because those are horrible so I would definitely squeeze this on a taco night and make the rest of the day carnivorous to fit this in versus those nasty ones if I wanted a tortilla and not like a cheese shell or something. I am here for taco night on a Sunday. 600 calories, 37 net carbs. If you are carb cycling, make those tacos. They're linked down below, fire. 
like the best meal I've had in a long, long time non-keto. You know what I'm saying? Because like our keto stuff is delicious. But best non-keto meal on a carb cycling day in a long time. That was fire. You need that in your life, guys. Or if you're just eating healthy, do that. It was so fresh. And I cannot tell the difference between the Siete and the 365 Whole Foods tortillas. I've never tried the Siete, only the Whole Foods. Now comparing them, can't tell a difference. So get the Whole Foods ones if you can find them because legit, they're $3 cheaper. And that's why they're always sold out at my store anyway. But that was so fresh with the pineapple, the red onion, the cilantro. Oh my gosh, on point. And we still have more carbs to do when it's six o'clock. What? Last meal of the day, we've got a honey crisp apple. This is 236 grams. It was much bigger than the one I had last week. And the banana was also bigger, 138 grams. We sprinkled it, if it looks funny, with a bunch of the apple pie spice by Primal Palette. This and the pumpkin spice one, pumpkin pie spice is so good, guys. If you can get your hands on it, it is amazing. I'll try to link them down below. You can always get them on Amazon Last Resort if you can't find them anywhere else. And this is 53 net carbs, 246 calories, guys. This is the most total carbs we have done on a carb up date to date. Apples and bananas, simple, delicious, all you need, clean carbohydrates. Total carbs were 235. We've been doing about two to 215 total carbs and our net was 186. I think the most we've done has been like in the 170. So this is the most carbs I've consumed since carb cycling. But as you can see, it's been all clean carbohydrates, mainly fruits today. We did 91 fat, a little bit more than I'd like, but I'm, I'm getting over that. I'm finding that it's hard to get that really low um, and actually feel insatiated throughout the day, even with the carbs. 182 protein, you wanna do your body weight in protein, if not more when you're doing those long runs especially. And then 2,455 calories, yes, a lot of calories for today, but we burned, what, a 1,000 or more from our morning run, so that does not bother me, and this is going to make me feel incredible for the week coming. It's about 10.40 as always. We are coming in at a point one. We have never had it said low, and that shocks me. Like, I always expect it to say low every single time, and we even went a little bit harder with carbs, as y'all saw, and we're at a point one. So tomorrow after arm day and a little treat yourself, we'll see what we come in with then. Happy Monday. I am feeling so incredible. I keep saying this every carb cycling video, but the day after I carb up, I just feel so fire. I wake up in a good mood. I wake up feeling energized. Y'all saw the scale. We weren't down like a pound, but we were down on the scale always, at least a little bit, feeling lean as hell. Like I feel the leanest and most defined after a hellacious carb up day. But again, I'm doing this the healthy way. I am doing this with clean carbohydrates, with just fruits and veggies and nothing else. I mean, we're not even doing oats right now. I do plan on venturing in to some gluten-free organic oats eventually, but I'm just scared because I feel like I haven't had that since way before my keto journey, and that's something that might affect my gut health a little bit. So that's why I've steered clear from that right now, but I do plan on incorporating it a little bit later. I'm just loving what I'm doing right now. My body's responding well, so why mess with a good thing is my motto always. Until we start seeing a little bit of bumps in the road, that's when I like to tweak things up and like to shock the body and change things up a little bit for better results. We're here at the gym, as you see, for arm day. So we're utilizing this the very next day to good use. And I have an old arm day that I'm going to tweak a little bit. I will show it to you guys a little bit up closer if you want to screenshot it and do it yourself. I save all my workouts after I write them down in a little notepad. This thing is like full, but I save it to go back and just circulate through old workouts so you don't always have to come up with new things. I do like to make new ones, but it's never a bad thing to go back to your old ones and just switch them up every few weeks and change things up so that way the muscles and everything gets, they're totally guessing every time you come to the gym and it's not the same thing. If you do the same workout week after week, your muscles are gonna get complacent and you're not gonna see the gain. So definitely change things up we, uh, every couple of weeks is my suggestion. So feeling amazing, feeling great, let's get in here. Let's hope there's not any juice heads. If you watched last week's carbs liking video, you know, and I had to block and delete a lot of people because they were being ugly to me. Like, 
I was being like, I was like the one in the wrong, but you know what? I mentioned in that video that I did not take all the weights. I just took a few. There's multiples of each poundage and they were like, oh, well, if that was the opposite roles reversed, you would be upset too. No, I wouldn't. I would just go and ask him if I could use something like a normal person would, right? It is what it is. Let's set the week, set the tone for the day, guys. Start out with something that's going to set your day and make your day positive. Positive vibes always. The carbohydrates help me lift so much heavier. So doing reverse flies today, some of the exercises I tried to film for you guys because it was like dead when I walked in. But then after I started working out, I mean, whew, for a Monday, it was pretty packed in there. So the reverse flies, I went up on poundage. I went up on poundage with a lot of my reps, but it was just hard getting the reps done. I was like kind of out of steam. Um, maybe it's because of lack of sleep last night, but it definitely helps with the lifting and helps with the endurance with your cardio. So I only did about a mile and a quarter on the elliptical, but I swear I'm going so much faster when incorporating carbohydrates on that thing. Like I could fly off of it, I swear, going level seven. I need to up my level and see if that makes a difference. I'm sure it will. I just feel like I could go forever on that thing, but I just wanted to get about 10 minutes in, work up a sweat, and I definitely did. Man, that thing works up a sweat. That and the devil, AKA the Stairmaster, Stair Climber, definitely gets a girl. I don't have to go long on it for me to be sweaty down. Today it is treat yourself keto season. So I keep hinting about that, and I'm sure y'all are like, what the hell is she talking about? What is going on? What is treat yourself keto season? Inquiry minds wanna know. It's just me bringing back some things that we have loved here on the videos and uh, that y'all have been loving as well. And you're like, girl, why are you not doing this anymore? Why are you not eating this and that? And it's just because I was really strict with the dairy free and just trying to limit myself a little bit before the holidays come because the holidays always get me keto or not. That's when the girl indulges and in, you know, pre keto used to put on the pounds and get in trouble. But now we are keeping it keto. We are keeping it healthy. We won't have that problem because we're keeping things in moderation, but we're bringing some things back. And can you guess where our first stop is to bring something back for keto treat yourself season? What do you think it is? I'll wait. Yes, y'all. It is the quest vanilla shakes. So you know the girl is going up to the Starbucks and getting my, I'm just gonna do a double shot today. I have not gotten the Starbucks in months as y'all know. And I worked myself up to a triple shot, like who is she? I think I need to go easy and do a double shot today cause last time I did the triple, I was like, ah, like jacked. So I think I'm just gonna do the double and put my beloved Quest shake in here. Oh my goodness, I have missed this thing so much. I have also missed my bangs. I will be incorporating like a weekly bang because I don't like consuming those with the acylfame. Potassium in them is a horrible ingredient. But you know what? Everything in moderation. If you're enjoying something, don't deprive yourself of it. If you are just doing it little by little, if you're consuming a bang like five times a day, now that's definitely a problem. But once a week, it's not going to hurt you 
issue. There could be worse things that we could be doing to our bodies, right? And it's the same thing with this kind of stuff. So you're going to see me incorporate some fun things back that I have missed that are way better than our standard American diet, guys. Let's be honest. But are they the best to consume every single day? Like I said, no. But it is that time of year where we're just going to enjoy our keto season because come January 1st, the keto cut. So if you've been with me for a while, you know I did the keto cut last year. We had crazy results with it. We will be doing the keto cut again this year. No, I'm not trying to lose weight, but it's all about defining definition muscle gain. We will be doing 75 hard this year for the keto cut. So I will explain. I've had a lot of y'all ask if I'm going to do a dedicated video on the keto cut like I did last year and what the 75 hard is. A lot of y'all don't know. Yes, that will be coming around Christmas time. So stay tuned for that. So that way you can plan accordingly, order your hydro jug that I always feature here for your gallon a day. Anything that you may need, I will feature in that video so that way you can get prepped and prepared and join along with us and we can do it together because I don't know about y'all but the more support that you have the more community that you have in your health journey the easier it is right if your partner's doing it with you if you've got friends that are doing it with you someone that you can talk to about keto in general because you know what if nobody's doing keto around you sometimes you feel like you're in a foreign country right I totally get it so it's so nice to have a community that's going to back you up in your decision for 75 hard they know all about it you can talk about it we can have all the feels it's going to be amazing and i'm really looking forward to pushing ourselves come this 2021 and getting out of this damn 2020. can i get started for you today yes ma'am can i have a double shot of blonde espresso over ice in a venti cup add some cinnamon powder to that please yes ma'am and will that be all for you today that is it and find cinnamon powder for you. Okay, that's gonna be 245. Thank you. Thank you so much. If you are new to the videos and you didn't watch any of the ones from the summer, this is how you order it, just how you heard me. You just add your Quest Shake. Now, I like the vanilla best. They have the caramel, they have the chocolate as well, and I get mine at Sam's Club for the best deal. A lot of y'all ask why I don't use the Premier Protein. It's because they have really crappy ingredients. Now, is the Quest the cleanest of the clean protein drink? No, but it is way, way, way cleaner than the Premier Protein. I know that they're a little bit cheaper, guys, and I know they have a lot more variety of flavors but pick the quest i'm telling you it is much cleaner than the premiere i feel like we haven't had pumpkin spice coffee in a hot second i've been on that vanilla kick as most of you all know if you've been watching so we're going with the great value is been my favorite like what even more than the community that trader joe's got nothing on great value and y'all are telling me that the peppermint mocha is at walmart in the great value i am here for it i know the community is fire in that one from last year but i'm eager to see if great value like knocks it out the park like it did with this pumpkin one i've got the silk unsweet almond creamer pumpkin spice as well i get this at target four to five tablespoons for a setting on your morocco even though we did our protein coffee this morning we are still doing the collagen in here because that protein does have collagen in it guys so like if you're drinking bone bone broth or doing stuff with high protein you're going to get your collagen from that source too but i just like implementing this so i know i'm getting it in plus some let's go silk Let's go. Oh my gosh. I didn't make my bacon in the air fryer like I always do. I did in the oven. So if you want to do it in the oven, if you don't have an air fryer, 400 degrees for about 20 minutes, just check on it. Mine started to get a little crispy. So I went ahead and pulled it out about three minutes early. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. It depends on your bacon too, but perfectly cooked. So that's what I got there. Half an avocado. We've got 60 grams of raspberries. Of course, y'all. I mean, like I said, get used to it. Just make keto, pecan, cinnamon crumble, and the strawberry. Two sausage patties and three Vital Farms eggs with our coffee for 947 calories, eight net carbs. I'm trying to get as much protein in and I still have a ton of protein I need to meet and it's 1245. So I'm probably going to go in with a snack this afternoon to up the protein game for today because we want to get as much protein in on these workout days as possible. Ketone check before our brunch. We're coming in at a point three. Remember last night we're at a point one. This is post the Starbucks and the Quest. So maybe it would be a little different if I wouldn't have had that. And yes, I did add the two espresso shots to my carb manager. Y'all got on to me that for that way back when. They do contain a carb each. So I did count those. So my whole coffee was five net carbs. So if you don't want to drink your carbs, that's something you're going to have to um, watch out for if you're consuming that. But I'm happy with point three coming post uh, 225 total carbs or something stupid that we had yesterday. We will be back in ketosis in no time and this is post that hellacious workout and I'm feeling fire. I am stuffed. 
I am satisfied. That was delicious as always. It's about 3.30 and I've got some afternoon protein I need to get in. I'm gonna be eating the Epic Chicken Sriracha. I like this one, it's zero net carb. This one is as well, the Epic Venison Strip. I will say the venison strip, if you have sensitive teeth, um, it's pretty rough and very, very chewy, but the flavor is on point. I do like it, but it's really hard on the teeth. The bars are not, so they're a little bit more friendly on the bite and the grip. And I'm gonna finish up my second thing of my water. Remember, this is the gallon a day challenge. If you're watching on Thursday, you are almost there, guys. Push through. I know a lot of people hate drinking their water, but it's so good for you, and anybody can do this challenge. It is a challenge, though, if you are not a water drinker. But I am almost halfway through to get to my gallon a day, and I'll probably fill it up a little bit more. So instead of doing a Zevia, I'm just going straight with my water and get this protein in. Six o'clock, it looks like my kitchen exploded, but what am I making but this greatness that I'm hoping for? Christy, that keto lady's new recipe in her new cookbook, Corn Dog Bake, let's go. It looks so good, guys, and I'm here for it. I'm gonna make some green beans on the side, making some bunny macaroni and cheese for Waylon, he specifically requested, and then gonna have some avocado. Hopefully, this is going to be epic. It looks absolutely incredible already, and we haven't even baked it. This is just the frozen Sam's Club green beans. I've got some bacon grease down there instead of using actual bacon. I put a little bit of chopped onion in there, and then also we doused it, of course, with the real salt organic garlic pepper. Here is what the corn dog bake looks like after 22 minutes. I mean, this is looking fire. I cannot wait to put a little bit of mustard and a little bit of sugar-free ketchup on top, green beans, and avocado. Here is dinner. I am here for it. I've got 137 grams of the green beans. We've got 68 grams of avocado with Redmond salt and everything but the bagel seasoning. I've got some great value organic mustard. And then the ketchup, if you're wondering, I'm using the Primal Kitchen Organic Unsweetened one. It is super clean. There's the macros. I just put a little drizzle on there and I have it in a little squirt container so it's easy to come out versus these glass containers like this, but it is so good as far as ingredients and you can find this ketchup at Walmart. You don't have to go bougie and go to Whole Foods to find that. This is 532 calories, nine net carbs. Y'all, I feel like I just cheated. Like that did not taste anything healthy at all. That tasted like legit corn dog like the really good ones from the fair that are super sweet because you add a little bit of monk fruit in that recipe that she added. Oh my lord, that was absolutely incredible. Oh my gosh, that, I don't even feel like cooking the rest of the week. I just want to have that every single night and we just might. Wow, on fire. Y'all need that in your life. Corn dog bake. Who would have thought? We talked about how it was treat yourself season. Here we go. And yes, I was one of those that pre-ordered all the new Rebel flavors. If you got that email, if you saw me post it on IG or in my closed Facebook group, I ordered all the flavors and I ordered this way back when, but I couldn't indulge in it at the time because I was dairy free. We are going for it. I've got room in my macros. Why not? Why not? Right? Pumpkin cheesecake, one net carb for a serving. Let's go. I love it enlightened stuff. I have done a keto kicker on it. It actually helped my ketones. It did not kick me out, raise my glucose, all that good stuff. So it is keto approved in my book, in my body anyway, but definitely test it for you with your keto coach monitor. I cannot wait to try those new Rebel flavors though. They look absolutely incredible. And just a little tip, they are lactose free. They've made their new ice creams lactose free. How cool is that? If you are lactose intolerant, come on Rebel, let's get it. But we're eating enlightened tonight. So I'm actually gonna put this in the microwave, don't get triggered just to soften it up. And I don't know, we may do a little over a serving. So this serving that you see here is 119 grams, which is 255 calories and two net carbs out of this serving. I just took a little taste. It tastes just like pumpkin. Let's see if we can get that cheesecake flavor in. If you're a Nicole Burgess OG, you know we are eating with a baby spoon because, oh my gosh, these boys behind me, I'm gonna pull my hair out. That's why we need ice cream right now. That's why we're eating ice cream, y'all. We gotta do what we gotta do around here. This makes it feel like you're eating a gigantic portion when you're eating a baby spoon. Help me, send help. If you like pumpkin, that pumpkin cheesecake by Enlighten's definitely a go-to. It was really good, but it just did not feel like enough, y'all. I could eat that whole pint. Y'all let me know down below. Like once you start, 
I always portion it up. I know a lot of y'all eat straight out the pint and that's why y'all eat the whole pint, but I always portion it up because if I start eating out the pint, I will eat it all because I cannot stop myself with the ice cream. It's so good. But I will tell you, y'all know I've been limiting myself bringing the dairy back. I ha I am having a little bit of discomfort right after eating that. Not bad, not bad like the first time, but a little bit. So I'm gonna have to wean, you know, wean my way back to it because I'm definitely feeling it a little bit because that's like full blown dairy right there. But it was good. Was it worth it? I don't know. For like the calories, I feel like the uh, the so delicious bars you get a lot more for less. I don't know. I'm conflicted. Today's macros, we did 78 total carbs. The total carbs definitely went up after the ice cream. Just be aware of those keto treats. It always gets the total carbs up even higher. 26 of fiber. So we did 25 net, which is totally fine. That's my limit. 149 fat, 142 protein. Did really good on the protein. I want to get my body weight, if not a lot more here lately. That's what I'm striving for. And 2,124 calories. Be not go as much with the desserts going forward forward, especially the ones that are full of dairy. I, it wasn't that bad. I'm just going to give you an update, guys. It wasn't that bad at all, but initially it did hurt the girl's stomach for about 15 minutes, but then we were good. So that's going to conclude this carbs cycling video. I am feeling good. This is the next day after having the enlightened ice cream, and I did have about 10 minutes of discomfort. That's the first time I've had like full-blown dairy, except for the pizza we had the very first time, and that was like devastating. Wasn't bad. However, the scale is up this morning, and I noticed a little bit of bloating so it definitely affects me being that I'm just incorporating it little by little. The lactose free stuff is not affecting me at all, but getting some of the other things back in, I'm just trying to do it slowly and not go overboard with it and not like really causing myself a lot of discomfort with getting that dairy back in my life. I am drinking my water. So when you're watching this, this is day four for you guys for the gallon a day water challenge. And this is the hydro jug again that I'm drinking. I have one more of these to fill up and drink today, but getting that water in, had an amazing workout this morning and just feeling great. We just got done doing brunch. And as far as working out, I've had a lot of people tell me that they just don't have time to work out or how do they become more active? How can they squeeze it in? Guys, if you tell the mind to do something, the body will follow and you just have to make things work in your schedule. Even that setting aside 10 minutes of the day to go and walk. And if you can't walk on your road because you live in a busy area, walk around your couch for 10 minutes. Set the timer. I know that sounds trivial, but any movement that you're doing is going to be a step in the right direction for yourself and for your health. As far as a health journey, I've had a lot of people ask me about keto and different lifestyles in general. Y'all know my main message here on my channel is just health in general, movement in general. It doesn't have to be keto. You can be paleo, Weight Watchers, low carb, just watching your sugar. I don't even care. As long as you are making a change from your standard American diet and you're getting up and moving more than you once did, you are winning in my book. So just make that change today. And today is the day that you can change your life, guys. Don't keep putting your life away. Don't keep putting your life to the side. You need to make yourself a priority. And today is that day. Don't wait for the next Monday. Don't wait for a fresh new month. Don't wait for 2021. 2021. Can we get a preview? Can we get a trailer? Make today the day. All right. Make today the day to change your life. You can do it. I'm your biggest cheerleader. As I keep saying, this community is amazing. Go follow us on Facebook because that's going to be a closed personal community that will motivate and inspire you on a daily basis. You can ask questions there. There's nobody there to make you feel like uncomfortable or keto police. Definitely go and follow us over there. And this community in general is just absolutely amazing. I love each and every one of you guys. And if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be where I'm sitting right now. But every single day I've showed up up. I've done the damn thing. I've put myself towards a goal and towards that progress. And y'all can see almost two years with watching these videos that it takes time, but that time pays off. So be patient with yourself, be good to yourself, show up for yourself. If y'all enjoyed today's video, please give it a huge thumbs up. That helps me out so much. And if you are new here, I would love to have you a part of the family. So make sure to hit the bells down below. All the notifications are clicked so you do not miss a future upload from me. Next week, I will not have a carb cycling video for y'all because I'm actually going to be carb cycling again in the airport because I'm going to be going to Vegas this weekend and I'm not going to be filming like what I'm eating that day. But I will be posting it all over on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on 
IG. Follow me over there so you can see what I'm going to be doing while traveling and on the road and getting a little like real time stuff what we're doing over there. Thank you all again so much for watching. I hope you're doing awesome on your journey, whatever that may be. If you're considering carb cycling, go watch week one's video so you can get some more information before you just jump right in. And let me know in the comments down below if you have been carb cycling, you just tried it. What are your thoughts? What are your results? And what do you think about it? We'll see y'all in the next video. Bye y'all.